here's a sort of common situation where I'm running my autopilot and uh, got navigation on. So my refrigerator is cycling on and off, probably at about five amps. And I've switched over to parallel my lead acid batteries and the lithium batteries. So right now you can see that I got um, 4.4 basically I've been taking off my lithium batteries at the rate of 4.4 net and that's with the autopilot on and the refrigerator on cycling on and off and I charged my batteries um, before I left so I've got a lot of lithium battery capacity and right now like I said I've drawn 4.3 and um, I'm in 4S configuration and this um, this is the lead acid battery and so the lead acid is being propped up by the lithium batteries and you can see here 13.255 is what my lithium batteries are and I'm running AIS and all my navigation let's go over and look at my lead acid right now right now reading the um, charging or discharging of the of the battery now it's showing that it's actually um, discharging a little bit and then you see it charging so the autopilot's kicking on and off and the and basically the the lithium battery is keeping up the lead acid battery so the lead acid battery is not feeling any strain at all on top of that my starting battery has a, a ACR on it, a charging relay. There's my starter right there. And my starting battery is also charging, which is nice. So this thing is just at homeostasis here. Now we'll look at my state of charge on the battery. Of course, when I combined them, I was in the high 99% when I combined them and now I'm combined and it's just staying perfectly level the lead acid is. So what we want to do is just charge up the lithium battery with this charger before we leave on our trip then we can keep it charged up with solar if we wanted to and so we're just using the lithium battery as our our main battery that we're drawing from and the lead acid battery while well, everything is running through it or I, mean, I don't know if it's running through it really kind of mainly running from the lithium um, it's a it's just a kind of a nice situation we can use we could we can just uh, cruise along not worried about um, our autopilot draining our lead acid batteries and we just kind of have a sacrificial um, lithium battery that we can use that we've kind of charged up and we keep charged up with solar so I'm still underway so the video is a little shaky but so let's talk about when it's okay to parallel these things so you have to be a very a pretty high state of charge to parallel the lead acid battery with the lithium battery and what are the problems with the lithium batteries uh, you know one thing is if the if this state of charge is too low and the lithium battery can provide a lot of current you could kind of burn some stuff up burn your wiring up it's not good to parallel unless the lead acid is a, in a high state of charge. My understanding of everything with 
non-expert opinion and some random testing. So the other thing is this system has a BMS and the BMS could shut the lithium down and if you're trying to navigate and you're running autopilot it won't be good if this BMS for some reason shuts down the lithium batteries. You cannot count on lithium um, this this lithium battery um, output of 13.2 <laughs> because it could just go away if the BMS has a fault. So for most people and, and, and you know like especially like you know non you know <laughs> not non uh, professional electricians I think it probably would be best just to stick with a decent size lead acid bank to you know that you can do your navigating and run your you know run your autopilot but um, this here most of the time will probably most run most of your loads now again you can't run a charger I don't recommend running a lead acid charger like this one here when your banks are combined when these two banks are combined don't run them together um, that's just don't do it <laughs> uh, un, un, unhook them uh, disconnect those two but you can parallel them if if you start your paralleling when you have a high state of charge on your lead acid battery that will work in my experience